Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do an encapsulated bumblebee for this Wu Tang full set. No bees were harmed for this full set, so if you're interested, stay tuned. Yes, I definitely am scary. These are real bees, guys. So these bees flew into my client's house the last time that I was over doing her nails and they died. So I feel some type of way cutting these with my cuticle nippers. Like, look at this. I feel like I'm back in science class. Mm -hmm. So for these bumblebees, they were very thick guys and I needed to cut them kind of in half so I could encapsulate them um, and so they could lay a little bit flatter. But one thing about these bees, my client let them sit in water for a little bit so they were kind of mushy. So I just wanted to make sure I didn't mess up the entire mm -hmm. bumblebee when I was cutting off like the bottom half of the bee. You can literally hear the crunching noises. So for the next couple of seconds guys, I'm really crunching the heck out of this bee. I'm really trying to get a lot of the bottom half of the bumblebee removed so that I can encapsulate it a lot easier. I didn't want to have to use a lot of acrylic and make the nail super bulky. I already knew it was going to be bulky as is because she really wanted the bee to be like 3D inside her nail so I had to kind of compromise so I really just went ahead and cut the inside of the body Oh my goodness, it's kind of gross watching this as is Again, um, I did not kill these bees for this set These bees came into her house, simply climbed into some stuff she said and like they just simply died They're always flying into her house um, So no bees were harmed for this if anybody's curious Um I did feel a kind of way about Why using real bees so like the entire time like I was kind of just like grossed out but this is what the client wanted so of course I'm going to do what the client is asking me so client's always right <laughs> as they say so once I was done completely kind of like removing oh my goodness look at him I did notice with the tail of the bumblebee it's kind of like I don't even know how to describe it but it's very it moves like it moves it's not stiff like it it's kind of like a sponge in a sense so anyways once I was done cutting the bee into different parts because I was going to encapsulate in layers um, I'm going to set them aside so then it's easier to pick up so here I simply just went ahead and I laid down some clear acrylic and I'm laying the head of the bee down with the wings still attached and then I'm going to add the body to the rest of the nail okay so now with the bumblebee this was very tedious for me because again i did not want this to be extremely thick and two i've never done this before like this client oh my goodness e is very complicated she gives me like math puzzles she's like we're gonna figure this out and i'm like yep we're going to figure this out so again i am using young nails clear acrylic i wish that they had like a crystal clear um acrylic i think that would have made this encapsulation a lot better because i really had to go in and buff the heck out of this nail but here you guys are going to see how i'm trying to press down the tail of the bumblebee and you see how it's kind of like springy like the tail of this bumblebee is very springy and it seems like it has like air inside of it like it keeps bouncing back up so i literally had to wait for the acrylic to kind of dry before it would completely like stick to the nail So once the acrylic is completely dry, I'm going to go ahead and start encapsulating this bumblebee, but I had to make sure it was completely dry before going on to the next step. Mm -hmm. 
If I were to encapsulate a bumblebee again, what I would have done was completely glue the tail end of it with like my kids, my KDS glue, just to get it as flat as possible. But here, I went ahead and just started encapsulating and I applied more acrylic than needed because I wanted to file down into, I didn't want to over file into the bee area and remove the top portion. So I wanted to make sure that this bee is completely covered with acrylic. So here I'm just finishing up the cuticle area on my black acrylic fingers. So the B for the left hand of my client's hand, this B I was able to apply a lot um, closer and thinner with the first application of acrylic so it was a lot easier for me to encapsulate this bumblebee than the other bumblebee one thing that i also wish i would have done guys was maybe put the bubble bumblebee excuse me a little closer towards the tip but i didn't want my apex to be off i mean i'm already encapsulating something extremely chunky so i just went ahead and put it right where the apex um peak would be at typically um, just so that the bumblebee wouldn't you know eventually come off within a couple of days because this is extremely thick acrylic so right now i'm just making sure that the bumblebee is completely encapsulated then i'm just going to go in with my acrylic i'm trying to use as little as possible because i still want it to look like an actual nail and not something that's extremely chunky on her thumb also guys, I'm using a size 10 Pana brush and I am using Young Nails Clear Acrylic, Speed Acrylic, it cures, excuse me, it cures within 30 seconds. Um, but I wish I would have, like I said, went in with a more crystal clear brand. If you guys know any crystal clear like acrylics, leave them in the comment section down below. But that's what I really wish I would have used just to really bring um, this bead to life inside the nail. I mean, I go ahead in and I buff the heck out of this nail so I get a shiny and clear as possible but i know if i would have used a crystal clear acrylic this bee would have looked like it was literally encapsulated in like crystal So one thing to keep in mind guys when you are encapsulating you don't want anything to go over the free edge so i went ahead and snipped off that little edge of the bumblebee's wings oh here on the right hand side of the screen guys you can literally watch and learn acrylic painting on my patreon the link will be down in the description box below but i literally show you guys how to do acrylic painting all of my techniques and things like that so definitely look in the description box if you're interested but here going back on to the bumblebee here's another angle from my client's view i'm just simply building my apex a little bit higher to encapsulating it like i said i want this nail to look as real as possible so now i'm going to repeat the same step on the right hand the i was using the left hand before sorry guys when i'm looking at things it's kind of you know it's opposite but anyways i'm going to go ahead and start building the base of the nail i'm going to start with my largest cuticle i mean not my cuticle bead but i'm going to start with the largest bead where the apex will begin and then try and also encapsulate this at the same time again i still want the nail to be structured you know correctly but i also want to make sure that this bumblebee is completely covered in acrylic because we are going to buff the heck out of this nail one thing also when it comes to encapsulating these bumblebees i made sure to wait till i got to the cuticle area like i do a traditional set because i didn't want the cuticle bee to be extremely bulky either i wanted it to still be as flush as possible so when you do turn the nail it is a little bit bulky but from spot on like direct it doesn't look bulky at all so that's what i really was trying to make sure you know like the nail still looked like an actual nail but here i'm going in adding some more acrylic making sure that it's that it's as smooth as possible because i know i'm going to go in and file it down trying to get as close as possible to the b to make sure that you know it's very visible so now i'm going to go in with my cuticle bead pat 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 side to side and then bring down 
Again, I wanted this cuticle bead to look as flush as possible. I know from the side it doesn't look as so, but as direct on, it looks as flush as it possibly can. So once I'm done encapsulating, I'm going to go in with my acrylic file. I'm going to file and buff, and this is what the nail will look like with top coat. And then my client asked me to apply a very thin layer of yellow gel polish on top of this to give it like a tint. So that's what I went ahead and did, and this is the final product of that nail. But this is how the nail came out, guys. Like I said, the cuticles still look extremely flush, but there is a bumblebee literally inside her nail. If you guys have any questions, comment comments concerns definitely leave them in the comment section down below but i'll see you guys in my next video